What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. New to the channel? Hey, think of subscribing. <laughs> so in this video, we're gonna talk about um, Wing Chun and why my views of Wing Chun has changed. I wanna start by saying, uh, only a fool doesn't change his mind. In light of new information, new experiences, uh, new ways of seeing things. Of course, if there's evidence that uh, you know that come and contradict your old beliefs, then yeah, you should you know take time to really uh, think about it. Prior to COVID, I mean not COVID, but the second lockdown when we're free, I started training in uh, Muay Thai. Lost a lot of my reflexes. Uh, I was flinching a lot and all. And then I started uh, on the weekends. I he's done a lot of striking arts. You know, Taekwondo. He's like a Taekwondo black belt. Kung Fu black belt. He also practices BJJ and Judo. He started helping with me with my sparring on the weekend and he's done Wing Chun. So he helped me with my striking and then helped me uh, with my guard and get me back into the flow of things. So that was really interesting. And then one thing that I noticed is that, um, well, the way he was, uh, he was setting me up, at times he would just like come in, close the distance, and this was at the beginning when I was still kind of flinching and, and turning away from punches. You know, then he would, uh, he would wait for me to uh, get back into position and then he would, he would throw punches at a very awkward angles, you know. And then when we were close, like he was able to, you know, like play around, uh, you know, do his Wing Chun thing, you know. And of course, I didn't know what the hell was going on, so I just like did the best I can to react to it. I didn't, I didn't put up much of a fight there. Wing Chun does have a lot to offer. Very interesting. But by itself, it's not complete. But I think that you could that goes, you could say that about any martial art. No martial art is complete on its own. Like you gotta mix and match it with other stuff to complete the thing, right? Wing Chun though, it's very, very good when you're close range. Very good. Now I believe that if you have a very good base in other martial arts, other other sport combat sports, such as boxing, uh, kickboxing, you know, uh, Muay Thai, and on top of that, you have Wing Chun. You have all your bases covered so when you when you're in close right so you have the clinch work from the top but let's say you're in close and then you can incorporate your wing chung okay and then you you know how to get out of the way you know and then you can grapple too you just have to uh, uh understand when to use it and how to use it and i also believe that you need to have your bases covered so you have to have the other arts already uh, in the background to, 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 to be more complete. Because if all you do is Wing Chun, what happens is that you just stand in this position. Like, this is just, this might be me talking out of my ass here, but it's not like if I've done a bunch of Wing Chun classes, so I wouldn't know. From what I've seen on videos, they, they seem to just stand in one place and you know, they have their hands like this and then they just go at it and they practice a lot like this, you know. One leg kick, one, one head kick could kind of uh, cause them problems too. So what I'm saying is that Wing Chun is good, but in that context, but once you're out of that range, well, you, you have to move very differently, right? And that's what Bruce Lee did, essentially, because he realized that at one point, well, he had to have different tools when he wasn't in range. Like if the guy was kind of like jumping around, running around. This was a revelation for me, man, because this is my, this is how it went with me, right? When I was young, Bruce Lee, yeah, I'm gonna do Kung Fu. A big part of my life, I, I believed in Kung Fu. I believed in Wing Chun, I believed in this. Then after that, I did Taekwondo and all that stuff. And then I stopped for about 10 years. From 20 to 30, I stopped martial arts. And after that, when I started again, I started in, in, in grappling, you know, in BJJ. So from there, when I started BJJ, I was like, oh, okay, and watching MMA a lot at that time. Uh, that's when I'm like, oh yeah, you know, Wing Chun, all these traditional arts, are, they're bullshit, blah, 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 blah. But now it's like, I'm. Um, I'm back to being more open to these traditional arts and I see the value of what they have to offer. You know, because of my friend who was kicking my ass and using Wing Chun moves to, to beat me down and to control me and stuff like that. So that was very eye-opening for me. So that's my opinion on it now. I believe that uh, it, it does come in handy, but it can't be the only thing or else you will, you'll be incomplete. And I think that goes for everything, right? Let's say if I only did judo, well, you know, and I get come up against a Thai boxer, he's gonna beat my ass pretty, pretty bad, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty bad. So now I'm really open to Wing Chun. Um, I see the efficiency, uh, not the efficiency, but the um, the usefulness and, of course, the efficiency of certain movements and why you can incorporate this for for your guard, right? Because you're straight line theory, intercepting, and stuff like that. But I believe that 
you still need to cross train. So those of you guys who are only doing Wing Chun, I think you're doing yourself a disservice, but you know, it depends for what reason you're doing it for. But anyways, that's for another video. There you go, new respect for Wing Chun. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.